Okay, I finished this. Uh, it has three ohms worth of uh, 22 gauge wire, 168 feet, series 80. I wound uh, six wires in parallel, then hooked them up in series afterwards. So that's what I'm talking about, these curved shunt bars that go from the top of the secondary to the bottom of the opposite secondary. And now I got them on both sides here. And there's some interesting effects. Okay, right now I just have a low 10.4 volts. I can go up to about 42 volts with this. And the primary start to get a little warm. It's 8.8 .8 ohm primary. 5.3 ohms secondary, 5.3 ohm secondary. And then 3 ohms and 3 ohms. So what I've done here is I that represents the curved shunt bar things uh, and so they they're in series and if I measure the volts with no cap it's 9 volts AC uh, and across here it's this is the secondaries the secondaries are in series. That means, like, here's the primary AC in 10.4, it's 0 0.08 right now. It's going back between 07 08. And uh, that's the primary, you know, and it's connected with the uh, uh, florist wire cores. So it splits it into each secondary, and I connect those in series, and I have a 30 UF cap here. Okay, so there's the cap, 30 UF. I have a 20 UF cap over here. I'm going to show you a little bit here. So, 9 volts from the shunt bars in series and 10.8 volts from the two secondaries in series. Uh, here's what's interesting. I'm drawing 0 0.0708 uh, AC current in amps and now I'm going to short out the shunt bars, you know, these things. I'm just going to short those out. Okay, watch what happens. Short it out. Oops. Is that the right one? There, look, it drops down to 0 0.02 jumping up to 0 0.03 that's where the short out now it's not shorted now it shorts it out down to 0 0.02 see that so that's interesting and I could take a 10 ohm resistor and put it across there instead of a dead short and it also lowers it down so you could call this the tertiary, the third inductor, and these would be the secondaries, and this is the primary. So now instead of shorting it out or putting a resistor across it, let's put it into a 20 UF cap right here. The secondaries in series. Okay, now it's into a 20 UF cap, the secondaries in series, these. No, I'm sorry, 
the tertiaries, the curved shunt bars that usually make nine volts AC with no cap, these things into a 20 UF cap and it lowers it down too similar to uh, shorting it out or putting a resistor across it now I'm not sure it's going to be the next step well let's see what the voltage is across this 20 UF cap right now Six point five volts into a twenty UF cap. It's nine volts without the cap, so I think I have too big of a cap there, but I I don't want to go crazy doing all sorts of caps right now. So uh not sure my next steps here I do have the shorting out of these or putting load on them and the draw goes way down that's quite a bit from point oh what is it point oh eight to point oh three or point oh two so that's good. So now uh, I'm going to play around with this some more. Uh, I think what I'll do is put 30 UF cap for the secondaries and the 20 UF cap or some other cap I'll probably have and run them in series. Um, or I will run the tertiaries into the secondaries in series and put a single cap on it. I'm not sure. There's lots of possibilities here. So uh, what else happened? Last night I uh, I was going up to like 40 volts on this and I noticed there's uh, right about 26 volts driving in you know with a variac not 10 all of a sudden the voltage in the secondaries just goes whoosh uh, it's, it goes up gradually kind of linearly linear gradually but then at a certain voltage input to the primary the secondaries really take off so that's something else um, So, uh, and there's definitely power coming out of here. I saw uh, the same amperage as the input pretty much is going through the uh, tertiaries the, as what's going in the primary. Okay. Uh, just want to show everyone that I got it working and it looks pretty good just have to figure out what to do with it how it's the best way uh, leave some comments if anyone has some ideas uh, okay thanks for watching